solve the following simultaneous equations graphically. 2x plus 3y is equal to 12, and 5x minus 2y is equal to 10. 2x plus 3y is equal to 12. If we take the x-axis and put y is equal to 0, then we're going to have 2x plus 3 times y, which is now 0. So 3 times 0 is equal to 12. Now, 3 times 0 is actually 0, so we just end up with 2x is equal to 12. If we want to solve this, the opposite of multiplying by 2 is to divide by 2, and then we get that x is 6. So that gives the coordinate 6, 0. And then for the y-axis, x is equal to 0. So we re rewrite this down now, and we write down 2 times 0, because x is now 0, plus 3 times y is equal to 12. 2 times 0 is 0, so we end up with 3y is equal to 12. The opposite of multiplying by 3 is to divide by 3, and therefore we get that y is equal to 4. So that gives the coordinate 0, 4, because x is 0, y is 4. Repeating the process for the other, other line, 5x minus 2y is equal to 10. So x-axis again, y is equal to 0. We get 5x minus 2 times 0 is equal to 0. Well, 2 times 0 is 0, so we're just going to have that 5x is equal to 10. The opposite of multiplying by 5, 5 is to divide both sides by 5. And then we get that x is equal to 2. So that gives the coordinate 2, 0. And then for the y-axis, x is equal to 0. We get 5 times 0 minus 2y is equal to 10. We just need to be a little bit more careful here because 5 times 0 is 0, but we've still got a minus 2y. Don't forget the minus sign here. Very, very, very important. So now we divide by minus 2. And if you divide by a negative number, a positive by a negative, you get a negative number. So we get that y is equal to minus 5. Right, to draw the graph, so we get, sorry, get the point 0, minus 5. Now to draw the graph we need to graph paper. So using proper graph paper, this is a summary of the results for the first line. Here is a summary of the results of the second line. So independently we now graph these. So drawing my y-axis first, so I need to go down from minus 5 to at least 4. So I've gone from minus 5 to 5 here. Look at the lowest y coordinate, minus 5 here, the highest is 4. And then the x axis I'm going to put in along here. Make sure I label my axes x and y, and make sure this is done with a pencil. Right, so we now plot the point 6, 0, which is there, and the point 0, 4, 0, 4, which is there. We take our ruler and we join these two points up very, very carefully. At one end, we need to label the line. We're going to have two lines on a graph. 2x plus 3y is equal to 12. And then now we move to this one, so we're going to plot the point 2, 0, which is there, 2, 0. And then 0, not minus 5, which is down here. And again, we're going to put our ruler against these two points very, very carefully and very accurately, and then label the line on one end or the other. Right, we're trying to solve the graph simultaneously, so we're trying to find where they intersect, which is going to be that point there. They intersect there. And we need to draw a line. We need to show this on the graph. So we're going to draw a line down, and we get 2.8. Each one of these little squares is 0.2, so it's 2.8. There's four of those squares there. And read across this one, so it's halfway in between two, so this is going to be 2.1. So finally, we're going to write down that the solution is equal to x is 2.8 and y is equal to 2.1. So a little bit of care uh, needed to draw the graph. It needs to be done on graph paper, this one, because we haven't got exact values, uh, integer values coming out.